is known to all that Beijing, the great capital of the People's Republic of China, is where the bright colored five-starred red flag, the national flag of the People's Republic of China, rose. Shanghai, the eastern pearl and the metropolis of the world, is where the flag of the Chinese Communist Party rose. The heroic and rapidly rising Nanchang, which is attracting worldwide attention, was the birthplace of the Chinese People's Liberation Army. Comrade Zhang Jinin wrote the inscription himself. This is the sacred place where the army flag rose. deposit of historical culture. The world famous and ornate and unique Tang Wang Pavilion is one of the three famous pavilions in the south of the Yangtze River. The eternal famous preface to the Tang Wang Pavilion, written by Wang Bo, has become one of the classics in the treasure house of Chinese literature. Ba Da Shanren Museum is a palace of painting and calligraphic art. Ba Da Shanren's painting and calligraphic works collected here are known as national treasure of China. Xishan, Wang Liberty Palace, the Holy Land of the Taoists, is the place where Xu Sun, a Taoist master of great learning and integrity, launched a battle with his sword against the Flood Dragon. The ancient Shengjin Pagoda has been renovated in recent years, and the buildings are simple and elegant. The place has been the site of tour, holidays and business. Now, Nanchang people are focusing on the two projects. One is to build Nanchang into a modern regional economic center, and the other is to build heroic Nanchang into a civilized garden-like city. They are firmly establishing the scientific development values and making efforts to turn Nanchang into an important base of modern manufacture, grasping the opportunities of opening-oriented economic development and market-oriented reform. Moreover, they are following the working principles of opening up to the outside world, continuing the reform, accelerating the urbanization, stabilizing the security guarantee, and coordinating the overall development, pushing forward Nanchang's rapid, coordinated, and sustainable social and economic development, and realizing her speedy rise. Today, Nanchang is attracting the world with her unique charm, brilliance, spirit, and image. The vast Qingshan Lake has been harnessed, the 100,000 square meter lakeside park, the Xiang Silin Dating Park and the Yenming Island Park here have become pro-water paradise, holiday paradise and entertainment paradise. In the Xianghu Lake one may see blue ripples, weeping willows, snaking arch bridge and refined pavilions like a beautiful scenic picture. The past 12 kilometer stinking ditch in East Nanchang has become a river like a jade belt with a clear stream, riverside grass and weeping willows. The river connects the eight lakes and two rivers in the city like a crystal-like necklace around Nanchang. The Tianxiang Park, a kingdom of migratory birds in the urban area, is a world-famous wonder. About a hundred rare birds dwell here and share the sweet smell of the homeland. The first-class air and water are the precious gifts of the people here to share with all distinguished guests. The Chu Shui Square facing the Teng Wang Pavilion across the Gan River gathers together tour, purchase and sightseeing with a fountain belt as her theme. The fountain belt is the biggest in Asia. Her main fountain is 128 meters high. Snuggling up to the surging Gan River, the magnificent Chu Shui Square inherits Jiangxi's historical civilization. What an evening view of Namchang, romance, paradise, whatever you can imagine.
Stop! 